What's going on everybody? It's the U-Turn Crowbat here, and I just have a quick special announcement. This Wi-Fi battle is sponsored by Youngster Joey. His Rotata is in the top percentage. What's going on everybody? It is U-Turn Crowbat here, bringing you no another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, this Pokemon Wi-Fi battle I'm bringing you, I am battling um, a, a passer, but actually no, he got me off of Facebook because on Facebook is where I'm posting all of my uh, my videos to try and get responses and everything so he wanted to battle me and his name is LICM now this was an interesting battle because I had never faced a Bouffalant before uh, I had I rarely face a Gallade Gallade, Gallade, Gallade I don't know anyway so I am bringing my electric team again my my Gavantula, my Electrifier, my Ampharos Lantern, my Dedenne, and my Magnazone. Now, let's get right down to it and get into the battle. Now, the th one thing that surprised me that I'm not going to really go into was his Breloom. But that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Now, I'll go out into my Gavantula, which I need to stop doing now because people are just going to start knowing that. So, I'm going to try and stop going out to my Gavantula first. Because everyone knows that my god has no sticky web. And so, anyways, he goes on to his Buffalo and he goes for the head charge. Now, this head charge pretty much wrecks me. Uh, it brings me down to, like, what, 20 HP? And so, at this point, you know, I'm just kind of thinking, well, damn. I've never, I mean, I've never faced a Buffalo before. I didn't know how much damage it was going to do. But I missed the Mega Horn, and I do get the Thunder off on the Buffalo and take him out. Now, I had spoken to him after the battle, and he told me that I would have been in trouble if that second head charge didn't miss. And I kind of have to agree with him. I kind of have to agree with him. So he goes out into his Weavile, and the Weavile gets the speed of loss because of the sticky web. And so the, um, he ends up using the fake out, which kind of sucks because it does take me out. But, you know, it's whatever, whatever. I get the sticky web up, it's fine. So, I don't go to my Dedenne, because I want to try and get a play rough up, or a thunder, or something up. But he goes, he does go for the ice punch, and, um, he does get my Dedenne down in yellow, which really sucks. But, I do get him down in yellow, so it's even. So there, take that, freaking Weavile. And so, I go into my Ampharos, because I want to try and take him out right now. Now, at this point, I'm just, you know, kind of thinking, what should I do? Um, I know that my, I know that if I Mega Evolved, I would have been more weak to Ice, so I'm glad I didn't. All I wanted to do was try and take it out with a Power Gem. Now, he does, now, it doesn't really matter, but I did get the Power Hack, the Power Hacks up. Uh, I did get him paralyzed with my Static. So, right now, he goes out to his Gallade, and I'm just thinking, you know, this Gallade is going to be pretty fast. Uh, but he does get the speed loss up with a sticky web, and I do Mega Evolve, because I'm thinking, you know, this Gallade can't really do too, too much to me if I'm part dragon, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, I do break the mold, and I do get the Thunder Wave up, because I don't want this Gallade out speeding me. So now, his speed is, uh, he, he lost more speed, which is good for me. And on top of that, I am going first. I am switching out though because I, I kind of want to just take him out in one hit. I don't want the Skillade staying in. Unfortunately, he does get the Psycho Cut, but fortunately for me, it doesn't really do too much. Now, I do get the Confusion, the Confuse right up on him because I do want to trick him up. Now, this Skillade knows some pretty decent moves, and so he does take me out with a Leaf Blade. I was thinking he was going to get hit with the Parahax again, but... He does nearly take me out. Gets me out in yellow. My lantern is a, is a beast. Depending on what moves it gets hit by, it can definitely take it. Now I go into my Dedenne, trying to go for a play rough or a charge beam or a thunderbolt or something. And so he does get the leaf blade up on me. And at this point, I'm kind of thinking, you know, what is going on? How come he is not getting um, the parahax? How come I <laughs> I am going down to this Gallade? Um, so I end up going out to, into my Magna Zone. Because I'm just going to obliterate him with Flash Cannon and take him out right here, right now. Um, but I was thinking, you know, well, maybe he's not going to go down too much. And as I see, he didn't go down all the way. But I do outspeed again. Uh, and so I do get the Flash Cannon up and take him out right then and there. 
which is why which is what I wanted to do to begin with but oh well so he goes out into his speed boost blaze again now I haven't really battled a lot of speed blue speed boost blazikens now nowadays um I know like in the past like everyone who's ever anyone used speed boost blaziken now at this point I'm just kind of thinking oh great you know this speed boost is just going to obliterate me so he uses sky uppercut sky uppercut on my electivire now it doesn't really do I mean it does more than I wanted it to but it doesn't take me out and so I'm just thinking you know I want to take this thing out with an earthquake because it is weak to ground and so I do almost take it out now if only if only I was able to take it out in one hit that would have helped me a lot he does use the sky uppercut though and he takes me out unfortunately by electivire by uh, at, so I'm just kind of disappointed because I kind of wanted to take the blaziken out in one hit but oh well you know it's whatever I gotta move on so I end up going onto my lantern because I want to try and use uh, Surf. Now this is why I need a priority water move on lantern because like I could have taken it out with uh, like with like I don't know like an awkward set or something, and I don't know what moves to put on lantern because I was gonna go for Surf, but he takes me out. He takes me out. Uh, I go out into my Magna Zone. He does get me with the Flare Blitz and he does a pretty good amount because I am getting taken out right there. Uh, and so I'm just kind of thinking now, you know, what can I do to take this thing out? But luckily, I do believe he was just holding a life orb. No, he wasn't holding a life orb. But anyways, um, he get he gets hit with a flare blitz recoil and he gets taken out. So this Breloom, like I like I said earlier, it does surprise me because the Breloom I have. Okay, let me just start off by saying I don't really face Bray Looms all that much, and the ones that I do face, don't know Sky Uppercut. Oh my god, like, it doesn't really do, it doesn't take me out, which is good, but the Bray Looms that I face, they don't know uh, Sky Uppercut, so it's like, what, what the hell, how can you teach it that? Now Sky Uppercut is a fighting move, and so that's how it knows it, but, but the Bray Loom I have doesn't know it, so I just kinda, I didn't know I, di I didn't know where that came from. Like I said, I don't really battle Breloom's all that much. And I know, I know, I know, I know that Power Gem wasn't going to do anything to the Swampert. But then again, my Electric Moves was wasn't going to do anything to the Swampert. So I didn't know what to do. I just kind of wanted to try anything. Uh, the only Grass move it knows is Cotton Guard, and I'm keeping Cotton Guard on my Ampharos because... The more defense I have on my Mega Ampharos is better for me. Now I just need uh, Pokemon who will be able to attack things and take it out. Now, the one thing that has been on my mind and the one thing that I really, really, really need your guys' opinions on is a Lantern. Because I know, I know I can make it so much better. I know if it had a priority water move, it would be so much better. But I can't think of any moves on the top of my head. That's why it's still no Surf. Um, I know Surf is a good move. I mean, if I had to teach it Hydro Pump or Surf, I would teach it Hydro, I would teach it Surf because Surf does relatively the same amount as Hydro Pump, but it doesn't miss. And so that's why my Lantern knows it. But I will be thinking of more more moves to kind of teach my lantern because I kind of want to have that priority, you know, because I could have taken my, uh, I could have taken the Blaziken out with my, uh, like, with my Aqua Jet if I had it. And so, as for the Breloom, that Breloom, uh, it, it, it scared me. Actually, it scared me with the Sky Uppercut because it was taking my, a couple of my pokes out just like that. And so, I want to congratulate LICM on that victory. Now, I kind of want to face, I do want to face you again. I want to face you again, but bringing my Breloom this time. Uh, because my Breloom is the Spore, Drain Punch, and Toxic Orb set. So that's why mine doesn't know Sky Uppercut. Maybe I should teach a Sky Uppercut, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I know that the Breloom I have, it has been helping me a lot. 
So I guess we'll see. I hope you guys enjoy the battle. I know that I enjoy battling the guy, L-I-C-M. Um, and so, if you're watching this battle, um, try and hit me up on Facebook if you ever want to battle again, because I'll definitely, definitely accept your challenge. That was a great battle. So I hope you guys, uh, RCS, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.